OntarioLoval.com here at the Canadian Motor Sport Expo, standing here with legendary engine builder and former uh, NASCAR Cup uh, car owner Robert Yates and Robert here uh, at the Canadian Motorsport Expo you're here uh, promoting obviously uh, your engines the spec engines the program you have with NASCAR a pretty exciting event here uh, already having Carl Edwards go through as well well it certainly is um, you know I've, I've never been to Canada but I've done a lot of business uh, met a lot of people uh, good race fans through the years uh, to come here and actually see some snow we haven't <laughs> seen any snow in, down south uh, came in yesterday, uh, but wonderful people. Uh, you know, the program that we're doing is trying to keep a good option for so kids, mom and pops can pay for kids to get the race and skill worked out so they can be a Carl Edwards or Tony Stewart, whichever one you want to be. Um, so that's what I love about uh, giving some time back. It was so good to me that. Uh, to see people with opportunities, and certainly this is a, uh, an option engine that uh, affordable, and um, we're proud to have that as an option for people to race. And uh, at the same time, we want to welcome all any other engine companies or car companies that want to supply engines. So uh, that's we need that competition. This show gives you a chance to meet with maybe some of the Canadian Tire Series drivers and, and pick your brain about these motors and, and the program. You have to enjoy just to meet some of the racers that are using your products. Well, I've you know, grown up, lived racing my whole life, and you know, short track racing is probably as much fun as big track racing. And uh, you know, it's, it's the same amount of fun. Sometimes it's less stress, sometimes it's more <laughs> stress, but uh, so I, lo I love uh, you know, I love building the cars, working on engines, working on narrow, working on, and I would actually love to drive the cars, but uh, I never could find a sponsor for me. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. Now, uh, right now, you're, you seem to be enjoying what you're doing. You have to be a lot, uh, have a lot less stress on your shoulders now, not being a Cup Series team owner. Things have changed so much, have they not? I tell you, it, it is, you know, I, I never thought of it like stress, and uh, you know, when Carl and Tony were doing that last race, I actually took my dog and we went to the farm and hid until we figured the race was over and nobody called me. I figured one way or the other, someone would call me and I'd go home and the race had been rain delayed and I didn't know they were going to have rain. And so I had to watch that race and I get all wound up in it and uh, that long of a stress period is not good for me. I, I've been there, I've done it and, you know, when you actually have bolted it together and you worry about flying apart or came up with a design or something and but that's you know I've got my 40 years done uh, you know but I love what I see with the kids and try to I think I really understand where we should be going with things uh, how we need to be treating the manufacturers and uh, you know I got on my soapbox about clean air and cleaner fuels and you know, good controls of engines uh, like NASCAR will be showing off next week. Uh, and I'm actually in the machine shop working pretty hard right now to get the stuff ready for Daytona and, and the fuel injection parts. I've actually been working with my machine shop making parts for it. So I've been busy but uh, excited about it and I want it to go well because it's a big step to getting closer to <clears throat> stock car racing. A big step to getting closer to cleaner fuels mm -hmm. for our engines. A big step for kids to get excited about it. it it's, it's smartening up our. Uh, it's, it's making uh, uh, our job be more glamorous. Mm -hmm. You know, it's something that, as I was a kid, what did I want to do this for? And I think we need more of that. So, uh, it's not a daredevil sport. This is a skill sport, and you got to start when you're young and the mom and pop needs to be able to afford to get them there and this is one option that we're working on. So I am I think that uh, you know the competition is necessary in this world to survive. You need good competition and this is this is one road that uh, is a pretty good road It's good for me and I think it's very healthy. Uh, I, I think that our sport is about as clean a sport it's ever been. Uh, uh, NASCAR does a great job of keeping it fair, mm -hmm. so I'm proud to be uh, standing here and I can look back and say, you know, I question 
what I was doing a little bit from, uh, you know, I used to think of getting people to drink beer and throw chicken bones at each other, but uh, I've learned that, that there's a lot more grandstands full of people that just love the entertainment and love the competition, and I'm proud to be part of it. Now, so the, the car owner, the famous black uh, car number 28, you had a lot of great drivers, but uh, as some of us that were fans of Davey Allison growing up, uh, do you ever look back and think, man, what could he have been? Because he, he was taken well before the prime of his career. Can you imagine where he would have ranked today with some of the drivers that we've seen? He, he had a lot of talent. I'll tell you what, Davey Allison, being, he grew up, you know, with me almost like a kid, Ram Bobby and all. He he looked at role models, and he really read into them what he wanted to be like, including his dad. He didn't want to be like thinking NASCAR is always on, not on his side. So good kid. He, he, we had many. I mean, I could probably have more talks with him than I even had with my own two kids about life and why we're here and. What's going on? I tell you what, a good kid. Anybody, I mean, he was one of the, you know, best, you know, kids you could ever raise and have part of you. So I would say that he would never have turned into a, uh, I, won't, I don't know how to put it, in, in a person that started using people up, spitting them out. He was just, a, he would have been that way his entire life because he had that. He had, that was his plan, that was what drove him. Uh, he understood fairness. He understood uh, you got to get in the click. <laughs> you got to like, like Earnhardt know that yeah. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> um, you know, he just, it was fun. I mean, uh, but a wonderful kid and certainly uh, talented in a lot of things. You know, just got himself in a place, but uh, certainly one of the most proud days of working and getting him wins and uh, or happened working with him uh, and I love talking about it today. <laughs> well there you go we're glad you came to Canada. If you, you can take some snow back if you want with you. It's been a fun time having you here. Okay enjoyed it. Thank you guys uh, and uh, look forward to seeing you this summer sometime. Plan on it. That's uh, Robert Yates He's a uh, longtime engine builder and NASCAR former cup team owner. And uh, great to have him here at the Canadian Motorsport Expo. I'm Greg Kellen for OntarioLoval.com.